when it was happening to me, I thought that I was the only one, not only uh, with him, but in the world, who is uh, surviving something like this. Serbian actor Milena Radulovic shared her story of rape in January. It was like a dam broke, setting off a Me Too wave, empowering women across the region to speak up about a taboo subject. Well, this story shaked Serbia from the ground. <laughs> Milena has accused famous producer and drama teacher Miroslav Aleksic of raping her when she was 17 and studying at the prestigious acting school in Belgrade. Several other women from the same school have come forward with similar accusations. Aleksic has since been charged with rape and other illegal sexual acts. He denies wrongdoing and is being held in detention. The publicity around the case unleashed a tide of testimonies and brought another case back into the spotlight. I remember clearly um, hearing about Milena's story and being in tears of joy. I was just thinking that my mission to encourage other people to speak has started. Daniela Steinfeld is a Serbian filmmaker now based in New York. <laughs> Last year, she released a documentary examining the aftermath of sexual assault, including her own. Recently, she revealed the name of the man she says raped her, well-known Serbian actor Branislav Lecic, who denies the allegation. Others have come out with similar accusations. An investigation is underway and no charges have yet been made. Violence against women is a serious concern in Serbia. The country ratified the Istanbul Convention to protect women, but reporting and conviction rates are extremely low. Most of victims in the Balkan region are still in silence. The self-silencing is a self-protection, because one thing is to survive uh, sexual assault and, and reach for safety. The other thing is to survive the unpredictability of a backlash, disbelief, uh, shaming. Daniela left Serbia, abandoning her successful acting career there. From a PTSD and from pretty much dysfunctional person that I was for years, I raise up to make the film to make something that is helpful for many people, and that is something that has healed me. For Milena, one reason to share her story was to make people see what's been hiding in plain sight. I knew that it's going to be interesting for everybody because I was this protected princess girl from a good family and everybody were like oh she's living such a fairy tale so i knew that it's going to be like oh my god like her if i could talk to daniela um right after the assault um i would tell her uh to not be afraid go tell your parents now <laughs> yeah and i would tell her that it's not only your case and to know that no matter how difficult and long, long, long time it's needed, the healing is possible. 